Hello everybody, this is Dylan and in this video I'll show you how to use for each loop in Laravel. Uh, so let's take a look at my controller. This is my home controller and uh, this home controller has a task model which I have imported already here and it has a column called post ID and there's one ID one and I want to get them first and show on my home page like this of course this is the home page but if I refresh the browser this uh, would be gone actually this would be the final result here my page is loading as you see nothing is there so what I'm trying to do I'm trying to I'm trying to get post ID equal one all the related post and send them back to over here in this section in my home page and display in the browser so let's see how to do that okay first take a look at my uh, task value this one what value we get okay let's see this okay so what I'll do I'll just do DD tasks okay so I'll save it and refresh the browser and right now I'll get the value for post ID equal one and we'll uh, die and dump. Okay, let me refresh the browser. Okay, here we go. So that's what I get from database. As you can see, it has three rows. So over here, this is ID equal one. And I want to now, I want to display this section, this description, yes. And for ID equal two over here, I want to show this part. Uh, anyway, so let me show you how to do that in Laravel. Okay. So, well, as you see, I already wrote it here. So I have this uh, object from my database, my SQL, and I'll send it to Blade template using the compact function in Laravel. So I'll write here tasks. So this task is equal to that one. But of course, you don't use the dollar sign. So without the dollar sign. So now all we have to do, I will save it. And I have to grab this object in my blade. So I'm using Bootstrap here for my layout. You can use whatever you want, but I like boot, Bootstrap. Okay. So I'll grab it. So once I grab it, it would be like this, like tasks. The same one, the same object here, but it has to be with dollar sign, okay? But well, as we saw earlier, it has three rows, or I, you can think like, uh, how to say? It? Yeah, three rows, that's a better way to explain. So we'll get each of them and loop through them to get them we need to use for each. So for each, yes, tasks as a task. Yeah. And I'll close the for each loop. Okay, here we go. All right, so in Laravel, when you start a for each loop, you start with at and you write for each this keyword and then you end it with and for each of course you have to grab the object here that's what passed from our uh, controller and then we'll take one of them in each iteration so this task represents one of these rows here in each iteration okay so let's see how to do that okay so as I as I as we saw earlier that in the first row I have a few columns ID post ID title and description so I'll work with description and title first okay so uh, uh, so I'll create another div here class I'm using bootstrap so if you don't know what is boot, bootstrap you actually need to take classes on that or you can do internet Google you'll find a lot of information there okay so now so I'm going through the iteration so I'll take this one whatever inside of this I'll grab that and I'll also find the related field like this one description so right now the description is sitting inside task 
So let's see. Uh, what what can we do now? So all we do, we need to display it. So to display in Laravel, if you're using Laravel Blade, then you'd use curly braces. Uh, so and inside curly braces, you'll write task, and now you'd get the field. So what's the field? The field was description. So this field. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll save it. Okay. And now let's refresh the browser. Of course, this value would be gone. Uh, yeah, my page is lo has loaded. As, as you can see, while well, so I have uh, three descriptions here because earlier we saw we had three descriptions. Okay, but now you see we have here HTML. Okay, so right now uh, the browser is escaping them, or you can think like not exactly browser, our blade template is escaping that. So that's why it's when when I say escaping HTML, it means the browser because it's coming from blade, and the way it's coming, the browser is not escaping. Sorry, browser is escaping, so we can see it. But this kind of HTML tag, we don't need to see them. So what do we can do? So we have a, a special sign in Laravel. We use uh, this exclamation mark twice before and end of each field or each variable. Like this is also a variable, okay? So right now, We'll save it and let's refresh the browser and let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, so the HTML is gone. HTML is gone. So uh, if you see HTML is coming from your blade or HTML tags, then you need to use this exclamation mark. Okay. So you can do a little research on this, but I'll make another video to talk in detail. Okay, but right now I have the description. So my uh, this task had three rows and each row had a different value and we saw it. But each row also had titles. So I also want to display the title. So how do you do that? Okay. I'll just get grab the title this section. Okay, now let's refresh the browser. So this is the title, but we need to style the title. Let's style it. Okay, uh, but before we style, as you see, because the title itself doesn't have any HTML over here. Okay, so that's why we are using double curly braces at the beginning and at the end but if you have HTML and uh, you want blade to uh, how to say not escape or not to show the HTML then you need to use this exclamation and in that case you just use one curly brace over here and another here so this is the important thing that you need to notice if you have HTML you need to use exclamation mark twice at the beginning and at the end anyway so now let's uh, go ahead and style this thing so I want to style inside a div so text uh, align I do center and yeah that's it well it uh, this uh, value should be between the div okay and let me resize the font size I'll use a 30 pixel and now let's refresh the browser and see okay boom here we go so this is our title and this is our description so let's see what we learned here in this video we learned if you have a model over here and you get the model value in an object so we got it in task and we pass it to the blade using compact function but don't uh, use the dollar sign here anyway so in 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 blade will grab that and to grab that all you need to do you need to use a dollar sign again 
and as we are doing for loop so that's why or actually we are doing for each loop so that's why we need to write at for each and we need to finish it with and for each but of course you need to use the uh, sign at all the time and then uh, go through this object go through this variable so it depends how many rows you have if you have five rows so it will go five times it will iterate through the loop five times and each time it will display the related uh, value or field whatever you say okay hopefully it made sense and if you have further questions or problems just let me know and leave a comment uh, in the video thank you so much